Hello and welcome to another video. This is my comparison of the Revenant to the Fate. We did feature this comparison with Angel in the Revenant review, but since her Revenant wasn't remotely close to mine for some reason, it didn't feel like a fair comparison, so I got some footage of the Fate myself to take a better look. Since the Fate came at Reactagloss gloss just like the Revenant, I'm using the Reactagloss gloss footage from the Revenant rather than the resurface footage to more accurately compare them. Both are pearls, both come at the new Reactor Gloss surface, like I just mentioned, but R3S on the Revenant is a much weaker cover on paper than REX on the Fate. R3S isn't a weak cover though, it's firmly medium, a stronger version of Storm's flagship R2S cover that we see pretty regularly on a lot of things. R3S Pearl was on the original Intents, uh, in addition, of course, to being on the Ill-Fated Spectre, while the hybrid version was on the Intents Fire and Phase 3. Step up in strength from something like a High Road or High Road Pearl, uh, even a step up from something like a Wolverine Dark Moss, because while the DM and Revenant have similar strength cores, the S70 cover on the DM is basically R2S, so the R3S on the Revenant adds a wrinkle or some separation between the two. Back on topic, when it comes to the cores, the differential is very similar, close enough to be negligible, and the RG almost is too. 254 for the Revenant versus 252 for the Fate. Uh, the RG is a smaller scale than differential though, so a couple points of RG is a bigger difference than a couple points of differential. Flipping to the Fate, much stronger right out of the gate, but that was expected. I couldn't even start from the straighter zone with it. There's a little more help from the core out of the Fate, but most of it comes from the cover. Much more traction through the oil that creates more stability and control. This is a better look on the fresh on this pattern. The Revenant worked, obviously, but a bit more length and shape than I want or than is going to be effective, or at least it's not more effective than the Fate. I might even go with the Idle Cosmos over the Fate on the fresh on this pattern, but when comparing these two balls directly, I'd start with the Fate first and then transition into the Revenant. Back to the Revenant, it has no trouble covering boards, it's actually better at it than the Fate. Since it gets easier length, it's not using energy to hook earlier, so it has more to use down lane to finish stronger. However, the Fate being stronger overall also makes it more controllable, so there's, there's always a trade-off when it comes to ball reaction, and the Fate is still no slouch from deeper, as we'll see in a minute. The extra length and shape of the Revenant makes it look sexier, but that also contributes to it going a little too long, getting behind the head pin and wrapping sevens. It's controllable enough, not as much as I'd want on the fresh, but it's not really causing me any reaction problems, it's just the carry issue with the sevens. With the Fate starting up sooner, it blends the reaction down lane more and creates a better entry angle on the fresh. The Fate doesn't seem to exhibit any outstanding reaction characteristics. Honestly, it looks kind of boring, but boring is extremely good when it comes to ball reaction and scoring. It's a staff or wet dream to describe because it does float through the fronts. It starts to stabilize and rev up in the mid lane, and while it's not exactly sharp, it has a firm and decisive move on the back end while still being stable and extremely controllable. They really did spike the Kool-Aid on this one. It's just so good that it's almost a little unfair to compare it to other stuff. As I mentioned in the review, I still think the Fate is a better Spectre replacement than the Revenant is, uh, despite the Fate being a few boards stronger than the Spectre. Uh, the Revenant is more like a bigger High Road Pearl, and with oils getting thicker and patterns getting longer, having the High Road Pearl shape and a more usable strength is amazing. I love the High Road Pearl, but it's not nearly strong enough for me to throw. Now with the Fate and the Revenant, it's like a two-for-one special. The Fate is actually the Spectre replacement slash upgrade that we didn't expect it to be, and the Revenant is a High Road Pearl upgrade. The Revenant releases with the Absolute on January 20th. The link is in the description to pre-order it from Bowler's Mart, or just order it if you're watching this after January 20th. Use my code ROSEDALL10 at checkout at CoolWick for 10% off. Check out my YouTube memberships for early access and extra content. Thanks to my outstanding members. Thank you for watching, and may the strikes be with you.